hey, sheet heads? Oh, God, that's awful. But that's an awful introduction. But hi, fellow sheet nerds. Um, today's video is really surprisingly simple. Um, but I do want to show you something that I have not seen in very many um, sheets, if any, is square um, squares. <laughs> Because we, we live in uh, rectangles all the time, and the default is a spreadsheet of rectangles, or elongated rectangles. Um, so I want to share with you this sort of delightful way you can make squares, and technically it's very simple, but, and there's a lot of really cool ways you can use it. So this is what uh, a spreadsheet normally looks like, right? These elongated um, uh, cells. Uh, they have a, you can actually look at the column size. It is 100 pixels. And then if we right click over here, where is it, row, resize row, it is 21 pixels by 100. Now if we just change that to 100, now we have a square. It's a pretty simple way to do it. Um, what I like to do is add these gaps uh, into dashboards because white space gives that the information just a little more hubris. I don't know what to say, um, how to explain it. it like. White space makes it seem more impactful, right? Like if we had, let's let's do this. Let's do, you know, it wouldn't feel like segregated different little information if there wasn't these gaps, right? It, it, this is usually what a dashboard might look like. But giving it space uh, makes it feel more entrenched, more interesting. And so how we get that is we can create, uh, let's create um, a few uh, squares over here. Let's do this. We'll resize these rows to 100. Okay. And then all of these columns are 100, but literally we, uh, what I'm doing is I'm holding down the command key and, and, and selecting multiple uh, columns here. Let's do four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick a number um, that's one quarter for the gap, so 25 pixels. You can um, we can play around with those later. And then what I'm going to do is let's do a little bit different than I did before. Let's do really dark colors here. Let's just do. This is going to look weird. Just fine. Um, and then some text here that's a little gray, let's say. Let's actually make it just a touch of the color. Let's go 15, and you know, we can do a header here. But we want to also make it uh, vertically aligned and then horizontally aligned. And then same here. So actually, what I'll do is. Now I can't paste. Now I can't copy and paste the format, so you have to do it individually for each one. But we can do that pretty simply. I'll come back when it's done. So what I did here as well is I chose the text color to be just a little shade of color. If it is not that, if, let, let me select all of these and show you what it looks like if it's just white. It looks like that, which is totally fine. Um, just to make it a tiny bit better, I think this. Um, decreases the contrast. It makes the headers a little less um, intense as well if you're going to use a dark background and a bright uh, color. Um, and then what we can do is we'll create a gap here. So let's just move this up. And then we will do the same here. So let's just do this. This could be the like item. So that Paste the values, All right? And we can make we can make this a little bit shade down as well if we want to. Want to make that item pop? So now, what's happening is that our eye immediately understands that there is a header here, but really our eye is brought to this item immediately. Um, and they share colors, so we know that they're connected in some way. So if you have like different dashboard items like subscribers, and here's the number, or revenue, and here's the number, or sales, and here's the number. Um, one more thing you can do to this is obviously, uh, unobviously, remove. And now when you remove the uh, grid lines, it becomes these beautiful gaps. Uh, one 
one issue and one uh, pitfall you might run into this is that if you make these actually dark, um, very dark like this, your eyes might fill in those gray dots in, in the corners. That could be an issue, uh, and that might be a reason why you take knock these down um, even more, like down to here. But uh, that would be up to you, and you might want to make a darker uh, text here. So that would be up to you and, and your uh, visual standards if you don't want to create those like weird gray dots in between. Um, it almost becomes a, um, an illusion. And one more thing I will show you before going, there will be another video that I go into a couple of other things you can do with um, these sort of squares, that you can create squares in um, with, with creating a dashboard where you separate these two. You have to merge cells, and I'm going to go into that in another video. But right now, what you can do as well is you can hold down Command. What we're going to do is we're going to create rectangles out of this, but they're going to be very specific sizes. They're not just going to be eyed. So we know that it's 100 pixels up, 100 pixels wide, so we're just going to double the width to 200. Okay, And now, this looks very... Um, I don't, I don't know, geometric, and it feels correct. It feels better than trying to eye up what a good rectangle might be. And so what's really good about using these very specific sizes is that you can make things very specific, right? This is 200 pixels wide, 25 pixels in between, so we know that it's 200, 200, uh, 200, 400, 600, 800, 800, and uh, 75 pixels across, uh, that way we know, you know, this might be used on um, on uh, mobile or something. We want to keep it, you know, within 600 pixels um, to make it like a good viewing experience. Um, this is just another way using these um, resized columns and entering real um, specific numbers uh, gives us a fun, uh, or not fun, but an interesting way to um, design our uh, viewport and design uh, how our spreadsheets, especially dashboards or information we want to make. Um, we can go here and create very, very interesting uh, fields of data with different um, um, with different shades. So what you might want to do is you can create like scatter plots um, visually with this. You can create sort of heat maps, um, but doing so with very specific squares, um, shapes uh, that were sort of normal um, beyond... Um, it gets you one step further away from this elongated um, cell territory that we consider this is a Google Sheet. We know Google Sheets, but we can do our Google Sheets better with these squares. That's all for today. Um, and I'm going to go into another video just about how you can break this up and use merge cells to make um, really interesting dashboards that, uh, that have the header and the item within the same um, cell, or seemingly. Okay, bye.